scientists are pursuing research into corn genetics, aiming to enable long-term advances in crop health. James Schnabel with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln recently participated in an international research collaboration that identified the complete set of genetic components for corn. He joins us now with the very latest. Good to have you with us, James. How did this research project originate and what all did it involve? Thank you, Tammy. This project was enabled by advances in DNA sequencing and was led by a team out of uh, China uh, and China Agricultural University. The lead author, uh, Jinxing Lai, is somebody I've known for more than a decade since I spent time over there. He assembled an international team uh, by reaching out to folks all over the world with expertise in different aspects of genomics. This so, enabled us to complete the sequencing of the corn. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. That's, I think you were kind of headed down that road anyway. So what are yeah. some of the potential long-term benefits to corn producers um, and the society that this research enables? So the really powerful thing about this is we finished the corn genome. We've filled in all the, the remaining gaps, and this allows us to identify uh, uh, all the genes present in corn. These genes uh, determine how corn performs in different environments and allows us to start predicting how corn hybrids will perform in different environments. That's something we really need to do because it takes seven to 10 years to develop a variety of corn. And we know that the Nebraska of 2030 is very different from the Nebraska of today, but the hybrids we're developing today have to be able to uh, perform well in these uh, stressful environments that uh, corn will have to experience in the future with less access to nitrogen fertilizer, less access to irrigation water. Right, so interesting. I had no idea it took that long to create a new variety. Now, the University of Nebraska-Lincoln has considerable expertise in the research arena. Uh, so what are some of the goals for you and your colleagues as you pursue some follow-up research in corn genomics? So one of the fascinating things about the corn genome is that there actually isn't one genome. We sequenced the genome of a particular kind of corn, but if you look at two or three different varieties of corn. There are some genes that are shared among all of them. There are other genes that are found only in certain varieties of corn. We think a lot of these genes are involved in how different hybrids can perform it, uh, differently in different environments. And we want to, be un uh, to understand the function of those individual genes so we can go from selecting the hybrids that do well in particular environments to actually designing hybrids uh, based on the performance and the qualities that we need for those varieties. Nebraska is an amazing natural laboratory for this. We have uh, corn trials scattered over more than 400 miles, uh, seeing huge differences in precipitation and elevation, which gives us the data we need to link those genes to functions. So glad you guys are doing this, always providing some valuable research. That's James Schnabel with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Appreciate your time today.